Hello, guess what I've been do- Oh, you already saw it in the video title, didn't you? Yes, that's right, I've been making another plane from that good old building insulation foam. A uh, fairly small one this time, this is just a 60 centimeter wingspan. I do like making the large planes, but sometimes it's nice to do a small project where it's going to be finished within a week or maybe two weeks or so. So I thought for this one I'd have a go at making a sub 250 gram plane. Uh, not that I really care too much about all those rules, but it does seem to be all a craze these days. And it provides an interesting challenge to aim for, I guess. Um, so it's a plank style plane and unfortunately what I've ended up with is something that looks like I've just copied the Strix Nano Goblin. <laughs> uh, it didn't really do that but there's only a few ways to do something like this and if you're trying to get something that's reasonably efficient and um, simple, um, yeah, great minds think alike, I guess, I hope. <laughs> anyway, um, I haven't flown it yet but it's ready to fly so... I'll just show you some photos. Here are the templates printed onto paper. I was able to fit all of it onto one sheet of A4 paper, which is pretty nice. The airfoils are MH64, 11% for both the root and the tip. And I stuck those onto plywood and cut them out with my scroll saw, as I've done in the past many times. And I also stuck the fuselage onto plywood because I wanted to use the hot wire to be able to press against this section here which is supposed to be matching with the bottom of the wing exactly because I wanted to glue that onto there so instead of just using paper only I thought it would be wise to to use plywood just just for this bit here uh, anyway so that's the result of that the wing obviously was done with the bow here and the fuselage was done with this um, vertical uh, bandsaw kind of arrangement that I've got uh, so it turned out quite nicely actually there's a tiny little bit of a gap all the way down but with a little bit of sanding it um, actually fit quite nicely and that's uh, just chopped off the front a little bit more and sanded it that's the bottom for the inside I drew up this thing in my CAD program and I stuck that on just to draw around these pen marks here and this is obviously to cut out the inside of the fuselage to put stuff inside and this little rectangle here is an 18650 lithium ion battery size cell just for reference and these are all the parts that I was planning to use and I've just stuck them on here so that I can get an idea of the total weight to make sure I wasn't going over 250 grams obviously and also to figure out where they would need to be in order to meet the CG So here's how much was gouged out. I didn't go all the way forwards because with the 2S lithium ion pack that I'm thinking to use, it's fairly heavy. So I found that the battery didn't really need to go very far forward at all. And even with a little FPV camera in about here, I would still probably be able to chop off quite a bit from the front there. So that's what I'm thinking to do at this point, And that's why I didn't go all the way forward with this gouging. Um, this is just before sticking the two halves together. I pre-cut this bit here and this bit here um, because I wanted this to be on a slant so that it can't pull out through the top. But I just left a little tab here so that it didn't completely start to flop around. Um, stuck it together like that. Um, just figuring out where the spar and the servos are going to go. Uh, spar is going onto the bottom like that. Servo is going in the top like that and I wanted to strengthen the elevons but I didn't really want to use a little carbon strip. In the past I've used a 1x3mm carbon strip for this but these elevons are already so thin that that wouldn't have really worked very well. So I put some fiberglass across all the way like that on the bottom and the top to give that back area a little bit of strength. I didn't go the whole way across the ring wing just because I didn't want to add too much weight. This added about 15 grams actually. Um, I was quite surprised. Uh, here we have the motor mount. just made these on my little CNC machine so they'll fit together like that. The FR4 piece will screw with self-tapping screws into the plywood and the plywood has holes in just the right place for the screw heads that or the bolt heads that are going to hold the motor on like that. Hopefully that makes sense. And so now I've cut the elevons out and stuck them back in with packing tape hinges. And I put some packing tape on the leading edge and a little bit of 
ordinary cell tape around the corners here just for a little bit of protection and on the bottom uh, also covered the spar with packing tape there as well made some little control horn linkages on the CNC machine again and they fit in there quite nicely now I'm just about to glue the wing onto the fuselage and this is one point that I'm not too excited about there's not really that much of a strong connection between the wing and the fuselage especially in this bit here uh, you can see it's just these thin little edges at the side that I have a little bit of glue on them and that's it the back is okay but um, yeah I'm just a little bit worried this is not very strong and that's that being glued together there and now that the wing and the fuselage were glued together I was able to cut the hatch out in one piece by cutting through the wing and the fuselage together like this uh, glued the motor mount on and made a little hole here for the motor wires to come through and at this point the whole thing weighed 87 grams but this is with the servos glued in so it's actually more like 77 I suppose they're, they're 5 gram servos so it's pretty good um, it may be a little weak though especially around this area I think see how thin the walls are there um, anyway so this is with all the electronics in motor and ESC and motors on there like that okay so the planes all set up and ready to fly now and the weight uh, with the 2S 800 milliamp hour LiPo battery the weight is 169 grams so it's pretty light still but keep in mind we've got to put FPV gear and stuff on there eventually and also eventually we'd like to try it with a 2S pack of these lithium ion cells but um, I don't have any available right now to do that with so they'll be arriving in the mail soon uh, so sometime this week I'd like to give this a test flight, but the weather forecast is not looking too promising. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'd like to also put some fiberglass around this sort of area because it's not very strong. The walls are very thin and I think in a nose-in crash it might actually break. Um, but I'm not going to do that just for the time being because it's a little bit of effort and I want to see if the thing is going to fly uh, at all properly first. And the other reason is that once I make a battery from these it's going to be quite a bit heavier and the battery will be able to go more like about here rather than here where, is it, where it is at the moment so I might be able to actually chop off the first inch and a half or so of the nose completely and sand it round again and then um, if I do that obviously I don't want to have the fiberglass on there because that'll just make things rather inconvenient but anyway um, that'll be in the next video. For now, thanks for watching. See you next time.